you, Jesse. I'm here with my good friend, Noah Neiman, celebrity trainer and trainer at Barry's Boot Camp New York. And he's gonna show us five amazing tips for summer to get that perfect, amazing beach vibe. How do you describe it? It's, uh, it's kind of to keep with the theme of uh, the popular movie. It's kind of like magical moves to get that guy and girl version of the Magic Mike body. But you gotta put in the work, it's not easy. It's not gonna be cookie cutter, you gotta put in the effort, that's all. So here we go. All right, so how I like to train my clients is I like to take simple moves and put a crazy, insane twist on them to make it get, make you get those results that much quicker. So we're gonna walk you through the first move. It's the variation of a standard, it's called the inchworm. There's all these animalistic moves that channel some kind of animal from the animal kingdom, obviously. And we're gonna walk you through the inchworm of my twist. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our legs nice and straight, okay? We're gonna walk our hands out, keeping our core nice and tight. When we get to the outreach position, we're gonna lower our base. Let's work that butt, kick those heels up and squeeze, and then keeping our arms. Look at this man, shake it already. <laughs> we're gonna walk it back, walk it back, but it wouldn't be my kind of lesson unless we did something with his age. Right, you gotta get high with it. Jump up. Woo. That's <laughs> one rep. Okay. You feel it already? Yeah. Tell me that won't catch you That'll a summer body. That'll get you body. warmed up. So, right. let's do it one All more right. time. Here we go. We're gonna walk it out, lower our arms to engage that core and our triceps, right. kick it up, squeeze the butt, the gluteal muscles, Squeeze it up on the other end. Now we can bring it on back. And then, and then jump it up. Fitness is not easy, but it looks oh so good. Step one. Everybody wants to get some abs. I so sure ladies, do. guys, oh, my puppy wants abs. <laughs> so everybody right, wants abs. So, okay, what do we do? Second move in this sequence is right here. You're going to incorporate a cross punch, a cross punch to the right. But really quickly, I have to explain. Punching is not with your arms. You don't get any power from them. Use your core. Watch my whole body as I do this. Right, left, right, left. That's the first part. Now we're going to include a move that you guys are all going to know and love. It's the squat to work the lower body and the butt. One thing about this is, and I'll highlight this with Micah, okay? I need your knees over your heels, and I need your butt to go below that baseline. At first, it's going to be really hard. You're going to be able to wiggle your toes as you come down into that squat. Squeeze it up, trying to keep your chest nice and high. Perfect. And so, the last part of that move, it's a three-part move, is the knee drive. Knee drive. So, you're going to drive that knee. As that hip comes forward, you're going to exhale, squeezing your abs. Exhale. So, all together, it looks Let's like this. It. Cross, cross, squat, right into those knee drives. This is all-inclusive, hits every part of your body, and especially that core. Let's do it one more time right, so the viewers really get it. Right. Cross, cross, squat Ooh. deep, knee drive, knee drive. <laughs> it takes some practice. I know. They're all not Jet Li right off the bat. <laughs> but wash, rinse, repeat, and you'll get those abs in no time. Step two. Right, I hope you're still with us. There's step one and step two. Now it's step three. What is it, Noah? Step three is going to target. I know you know Batman's coming out this uh, yeah. this summer. Exactly. Filmed in my hometown, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 412. So, the one thing we don't want are bat wings. And a lot of ladies, and a lot, some even gentlemen get this. <laughs> you called it what, the teacher arms? The, the teacher substitute arms. teacher arms. <laughs> so we're going to do a move that specifically targets this. And the good thing is, no equipment, just your own Here body. So you're going to form a triangle with your hands. You are going to place that triangle on the floor right under your chest. Now, the important thing about this to work the triceps, you are not gonna bow your tricep or your elbows out. You are gonna bring them towards your feet. So, again, it's not this. I want you to bring them down towards your Ooh. feet, right? And bring it up. It's okay if you start this off your knees until you get more comfortable. Even a partial rep, as long as you bring those elbows back, you can see it. I don't wear this tank top just for show. I like to actually use it as a piece to show you the muscles working. So bring it down. You can flex that tricep. Think about squeezing it. As you get more advanced, go to your feet. Okay. But if you can't do it off your feet, drop it right down to your knees. Okay. All I care about is dropping those elbows down. Squeeze your triceps as you come up. You can do this again until burnout. I want you to just feel that muscle now, burn. How many times should uh, the viewers be doing this? Uh, I would do it again. I don't like to do it in sets, 
go for about 30 seconds and as you start getting more advanced, 45 seconds, a minute. I want you to kind of break out of that mentality of doing things in sets because what you do is you actually find yourself getting fatigued at that 12th rep if you know that you have to go to the 15th. Whereas if you had to go for 45 seconds, you may do 20 reps and surprise yourself. Your body's really crazy that way. That so this is, this is something you can carry on to all your workouts. All right, that was step three. Step number four is for the ladies out there. Actually, the guys can do it too, but this is for the ladies out there that want to get that Jessica Beale booty. <laughs> so the Jessica Beale booty, this is actually also, as a bonus, going to work your lower abs and you don't have to strain your neck on the floor. So what you're going to do is this. You are going to step into a back lunge. Very important that you keep your chest high, driving your hip forward. Knee, again, is over your heel. You bring it back up, then step it back. Bring it back up, step it back. Keeping those hips forward as you really tighten that core. This is actually a great way to hit those lower abs in your pelvis, that area from hip bone to hip bone. It is actually going to get you those washboard abs in a lunge, which is a little, little kind of crazy. So we're going to step it back. Knee is almost touching the ground. This knee is over your heel. That's the principle for all squats that you do. Squeeze that butt as you come forward. Bring it back, come down. Knee is right over your heel. Squeeze that butt as you come forward. That is the easy part. Now it's onto the hard part, the burnout, what I call it. It's 30 seconds of burn. It takes a lot of effort, but it's gonna force that body to change faster. We're New Yorkers, we don't want that body now. We want it right now. So let's get it right now. All right, let's do it. So right here, this is how you end this. After a minute of those, you come right here and you jump the transition. Woo! Jump, 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 jump. Jump the transition. 30 seconds if you can still walk. Bless you. All right, guys, this is the fifth and final step to getting that magic mic like body. <laughs> what is it? Uh, this is going to be that cardio infusion. Everyone knows they have to do the cardio, but who wants to sit in the elliptical? You can actually get your cardio routine done by just doing things like this aggressively and without breaks. So, we're going to do a, what's called a popcorn squat, one of my favorite moves for the lower body. You're gonna bring your feet apart. Nice and low in that squat we talked about with your knees over your heel, chest is high. You are gonna jump your feet together, then jump right into the squat. It's kind of like a variation of a lower body jumping jack. So instead of opening your arms and shutting, legs are open, legs are shut, legs are open. So again, it looks like this. Popcorn squat, jump, popcorn squat, jump, popcorn squat. As an added bonus, at the end of that minute when the timer goes off, you can give that little pulse, Ooh. little pulses to really push off those heels <laughs> and really lift that butt. That is the first part of our burnout. To end that routine, after that minute and after your optional pulses, I want you to grab an object. I'm going to use Micah, he'll be my object for the day. I don't mind. You have to grab any object that's behind your head. Reason being, you can do these with your hands by, by your sides, but I want you to reach behind you and grab so you stretch your abs out. I'll explain what I mean right now. So, this is actually what I call the Rockies. We do these a lot in the various boot camp classes and I've seen definite changes in people's physiques just from this move. As you're gonna reach back nice and, nice and wide, keeping that nice stretch in your body. Again, if you don't have a Micah Jesse, you can grab a chair, you can grab anything that will support your weight. Bring it up, and as you get to the top, feet are right over your heels, you're gonna pulse it up. Bring your hips slowly down. Pointing your toes away from your shoulders so you're going to engage your form more. Bring it up. Pulse it up. Come right down. We're making it look easy. Let's watch Micah uh -oh. struggle. So we're going to start with the popcorn, popcorn squat. squats. Then you go, give me one popcorn squat and show the viewers at home how to do it. Right. Right. right here. Ready? Low squat. Jump your feet together. Jump them apart. Let's do it. Like this. Pro already. <laughs> Let's show them the rocket. Right. They want to see you do these moves, don't they? Watch the sweat. <laughs> bring it up. Right when you get there, bring it up. Don't bring your legs back too far. You won't engage your abs. I want your legs right over your hips as you pulse it up. Again, if it's not hurting and it's not burning that midsection, you're not doing it right. You've got to feel that pain. Embrace the burn. Change your whole body. 
All right, guys, that was the five magical tips from Mr. Noah Neiman on how to get that magic mic like body for both girls and guys. And if you don't believe me, here's the evidence. That's all now. Thanks for